So I just have another quick video tutorial here for you on how to copy software or files from a DVD or CD over to a USB flash drive. Now I am using a Windows Vista computer. I'm using Windows Vista Ultimate 32-bit operating system there. Um, first of all, over here on the desktop, there's an icon that says My Computer. If you don't see that icon on your desktop, then what you want to do is somewhere out here on the desktop, just right-click, go down and left-click Personalize. And up here you'll see a couple of links. One says change desktop icons. Left click that and in here you can choose what you want as far as your icons popping up on the desktop. So select, if it's not selected already, select the one that says uh, computer. Put a check mark in the box there. Come down here and click apply and then click OK. And you'll get the my computer the computer icon to pop up on your desktop here. Since we, you know, I use that quite a bit so that's why I want it on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is open up. I'm going to double click my computer and open the box up here. And all you can see now is my DVD drive. And what I have here is a, a little four gig flash drive that I'm going to go ahead and plug into my computer right now. And you'll get some pop ups here. And you're looking for a little drive to pop up. There it is just popped up there. So this box that popped up is basically the flash drives contents, but I'm going to close out of that box. So right there I just had the drive uh, pop up on the uh, under the devices and removable storage. So the first thing you want to do, you know, is double click that and here you'll see the contents on your flash drive. Okay, mine is empty and that's what I recommend you do. If you have anything on that flash drive, uh, remove it off there right now. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you um, s how to format this quickly. So um, this is formatted to the right file system, so there's no issues copying from that DVD. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and come up where it says format and left click that. I'm going to get another little box that pops up here. It just shows me the capacity of that flash drive and the file system that's currently be you know installed on that flash drive. And what, what you have is some options here. What you want to select is NTFS. Make sure file system says NTFS. Then come down here and put a check mark in the quick format box and click start. Now again, before you do that, I'm not sure if you guys have anything on your flash drive or not, but this is going to erase like if you have pictures on there or documents, this process right here will erase all that. So uh, I recommend getting all that stuff off there because you won't get it back. So I'm going to click OK. This can take one to two minutes. We'll wait for this to go through and format under uh, the NTFS file system. And again, you don't have to do this, but I recommend it because it saves you from running into error messages, maybe copying software off the DVD or CD over to the flash drive, and it just kind of keeps everything consistent as far as your file system from the computer to the flash drive. So this will pop up and tell us when it is done formatting. I can see a green progression bar going across there. Okay, format complete. So just click OK and then close out of that. So now if I double click on there again, this is completely clean, freshly formatted for me to copy files to. Now what I have, now what I have here is a software CD. And it's just something older I had. It's like burning software. I'm going to go ahead and insert that in my computer. I will give that just a moment to show up. Should show up right here. Okay, so now that that showed up, what I want to do is actually right click on that and come down to where it says explore and left click explore. And that's going to show me all the files on the DVD or CD. So now all you really need to do is edit, select all, just like that, or you can click down here where the white area is, click and hold the left click of the mouse and pull it up to select all those files. So just two ways there you can edit, select all, and then anywhere in here once they're all selected you can right click and click copy. Okay, then what you want to do is click back and open and double click 
your flash drive. Now here you can right click anywhere here in the, the uh, plane area and click paste or you can go up here where it says edit and paste. So I'll just click paste right now. And what that's going to do is copy all the contents off that CD. That's a CD, not a DVD, but that's going to copy all the contents off the CD over to the flash drive. And I cannot say that this process will go smoothly for everyone, but this is how you do it. Um, you may run into, I'm hoping that you don't, but you may run into errors. You know, a lot of stuff nowadays is copyright protected. And even though you may be copying your own software, it is just how the the disks are formatted now and things are added to them to help keep them safe and secure and from copyright. So, but for purposes of you doing this for your own stuff, you should be fine to do this. And it should take just, you know, a couple of minutes to do this. We'll just give it a minute. As you can see, all the files are, are popping up there. I just heard my uh, DVD-ROM spin up. It also shows the size. You also want to know what size, you know, what size of, what amount of stuff are you copying over to a 4 gig flash drive? Because if it's too large, if it's anything more than 3 gigs or 4 gigs, whatever your flash drive capacity is, it, it probably will, you know, it'll copy until it can copy no further and you'll run out of, out of space. So I'll show you how to look at that real quick before I go. So far, so good here. Um, this is copying stuff over. No problems at all. It only takes, you know, a minute or two couple of minutes at the most. Of course, I'm not really copying that much stuff over, so. Just about finished up here. So, All right, so there is all the contents off the CD. So if I go up here to the back button and I click back and I double click again on my flash drive, you can see I copied all the contents over. One way you can compare the two is to minimize that box and open up another box here. So I have to move these around because the screen's kind of small, but what you can do now is the this is the flash drive contents that I just copied over and here's the software CD so if you right click on that and go to explore you can see the two side by side now this is the flash drive contents and this is the contents on the CD they're pretty much um, equal here so what you want to do now is go ahead and click back on both of those and if you right click on the flash drive and choose properties just left click properties you can see now that your used space is 247 meg and this is what your free space you're left with 3.49 gigs so you have quite a bit of space left on that flash drive and if you right click on your software cd and go to properties you can see you know how large that is you may want to do that before you copy stuff over so if this says like 2 gigs instead of 200 MB then you you know you know you'd have enough room to could do the copy the contents over so that is pretty much all i have for you guys and there are are all the contents from the CD i copied over to a 4 gig flash drive so thanks a lot guys for watching please like subscribe and comment if you like this video and you guys have a great one